to create your nail polish you will need mica pigment some glitters the glitter used for frankening polish must be solvent resistant glitter so that they doesn't bleed when mixing the polish i have bought my glitters from misfits on 8th and mica mama uh, i will put their links in the description box you will also need an empty polish bottle and a suspension base that is a must ingredient for creating your glitter polish uh, you will also need a toothpick couple of measuring spoons and a funnel you can make a paper funnel or uh, that will suffice too and you will also need the stainless steel balls these balls help in mixing the polish properly so uh, let's start take your empty polish bottle and fill it 70 to 80% with your suspension base i pour it directly but you can use funnel or funnel to avoid mess now now put your funnel on the bottle and pour a uh, 0.5 ml spoon full mica in the bottle as you can see i am using a small i mean this bottle is like 5 to 8 ml polish bottle so i am using just one spoon of 0.5 ml mica you can use as uh, i mean two spoon if you if your bottle is larger than mine Uh, i'm then using toothpick uh, push down the mica from the funnel into the bottle so you can also use your fingers to push the mica down the, in the bottle like me it's easier that way Now you can at this stage you can mix your glitters too but I like to mix my mica first and then I add my glitters so uh, put the lid on and give it a nice shake This is now how the polish look like it's very pretty a uh, blue satin finish Some people use eye shadow mica but i never use that so i don't know how that will work for as a nail paint now uh, we will add our glitters to it for that again you have to put your funnel on it i'm using this azure hex glitter which i got from misfits on 8 uh, now i'm using the small spoon which is which is 0.05 ml yeah that's right Uh, I'm using two spoon full of azure glitters. Okay, uh, you can uh, always adjust your glitter according to your taste. I like my polish pretty glittery, so I'm using two spoons each of uh, for each for each glitter. Uh, I got this silver holographic glitter from Mica Mama, and I'm using two uh, spoon for this glitter also. Now I am adding one steel ball to the polish. If you are using 15 ml polish bottle, then you can add two steel balls and give it a nice shake. Tada! Your polish is ready, and you can see how sparkling and beautiful that 
those holographic glitters looks like looking and let's have a swatch of the polish It looks pretty opaque but I have a habit of using two coats of polish no matter how opaque it is. This is how my polish looks after second coat and I haven't applied any to top coat over it and it looks very pretty. One thing you keep into your mind if you are using, if you think if you, that your polish is looking thick then you can always add a nail polish thinner, few drops of nail polish thinner or you can also use um, clear nail polish to it. 